hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to download and install davinci studio on mac mini davinci studio is the paid version of davinci resolve the free version does a great job all of the videos that i've posted on the channel have been edited using davinci to begin this process i'm going to launch a new instance of safari browser and then i'll open google let me expand this go to davinci resolve download davinci resolve is an application offered by black magic design click on the first link that, that says davinci resolve 19 black magic design once i click on that link it will take me to this landing page i'm going to scroll down given that we want to download davinci resolve Studio. so here are the two options for davinci resolve you have davinci resolve free version to upgrade to the paid version you're going to be paying 295 dollars it's a one-time payment this is a high-end video editing software to get the paid version of davinci resolve click on buy online now and then issue take me to the other page so here on the other page you see the quantity of the application that we are buying we are buying davinci resolve studio it costs 295 dollars once you pay for the application your activation key and your serial number will be sent to you via email and that is going to be used for activating davinci resolve i will show you the process here in just a couple of minutes the tax is to be determined you can read the refund policy mm -hmm. for now i'm just going to move on to paying for the software since i want to pay for it i will select my payment method use paypal at checkout i'll input my paypal account information once you pay for the application it now allows you to download it I'll click here to download the application do you want to allow davinci i'll click allow davinci studio is downloading another good application that you could use for editing videos on your mac is uh, final cut pro davinci studio is an all-in-one type of application as opposed to other similar applications that have bits and pieces of different things in different apps davinci studio you have or davinci resolve you have all of the things you need to bring a video to life you don't need to go outside of davinci resolve to get your video edited whether you're doing video editing audio editing color correction davinci studio is the professional grade application used by hollywood to edit most of the films that we watch you have three of those top applications you have davinci studio premiere pro i have used premiere pro before and then you have final cut pro those are the top three editing software that hollywood uh, professionals use davinci studio has downloaded the application has downloaded we are going to close this window and then we'll go to we'll go to find that and then we we'll double click on davinci resolve studio to launch it so to install davinci resolve studio i'll just double click on install resolve 19.1 to install davinci resolve studio you need to install rosetta do you want to install it now just click install put in the password for your computer and then just install rosetta rosetta is installed now it has taken us to the dialog page for installing davinci resolve you are about to install davinci resolve 19.1 so it combines power tools for editing, color correction, visual effects, and audio post-production into a single integrated package. This software also supports a wide range of color correction panels, audio consoles. You will need to change software if you connect to these devices. It is an all-in-one application like I said. On this page, we're just going to go through the process. It's fairly straightforward and simple, and then we'll install the application. So I'll just click continue. This installer would add DaVinci Resolve software to your system as well as additional software for remote monitoring and utilities for setting up hardware control panels it also installs blackmagic raw player and also blackmagic proxy generator into the application folder to remove davinci resolve from your system double click the uninstall resolve button they are referencing this to install you just double click the install resolve to uninstall you double click the uninstall resolve and then it will walk you through the process we have taken efforts to keep the project libraries compatible with davinci resolve 18.6 so if you have that you will still be able to open your projects while this allows you to access the project library with 18.6 individual projects created or opened in 19.1 will no longer be accessible in 18.6 
we recommend a full project library backup as well as individual project backup before opening projects in 19. So if you're using 18.6, you need to follow this process. On this screen, we're just going to click continue. You're going to read the license terms and conditions and then we're just going to click continue and you will ask us to agree or disagree so we will agree if you disagree it's not going to install the application this will take 10.5 gigabytes of space on your computer so this is a very intensive application so i'm just going to click install and enter my password the password for my machine and then i'll click install application the process of installing DaVinci Resolve on Mac or Mac Mini is fairly straightforward. Just get a copy of the application, launch the installer, go through the process and then let it do its installation. This is also part of our effort to see how powerful the Mac Mini is. So we are going to run DaVinci Resolve on here and then we will see how it handles editing or running DaVinci Resolve. The installation was successful, the software was installed, so I'm just going to close this window and then I can just to keep or move the, the DaVinci Resolve installer to trash or I can keep it. I'm going to keep it. And now we have DaVinci Resolve if in case I come to apps and on here on apps you can see that we have, you can see here that we have DaVinci Resolve. I'm just going to double click on it. To launch the application uh, if you like the video so far give it a thumbs up comment and share so others can learn what's new in davinci resolve 19 replay live post-production intellitrack ai tracking gives you the ability to use ai to track objects within your production uh, with davinci resolve 19 you have the ability to do color slice six vector grading if you your workload involves a lot of color correction that will be helpful with DaVinci Resolve 19, you have ultra noise reduction that helps to improve noise reduction and that is powered by DaVinci Neura AI engine. With DaVinci Resolve 19, you have text-based timeline editing. So this is a great feature that I will be using. So you can move or delete text to edit and insert subtitles via transcriptions. DaVinci Resolve 19 has a similar creator-like capability that allows you to create cinematic-like films in a single Resolve. DaVinci Resolve 19 also has advanced volumetric rendering. We are going to test the rendering after we create a video. Uh, DaVinci Resolve 19 also has AI audio panning to video track. So these features are good here. I'll click continue. You can do a quick setup or you can skip and start right away. So I'll do a quick setup. The operating system and the graphic cards are good for DaVinci Resolve. Click continue. What type of project would you like to start? The default is the HD project, Ultra HD project. If you want to choose your resolution later, you can go with the last option. Most of the projects that I do, they are 1080p projects. I will leave it to a high definition project and then I'll click continue. Click the search icon and search to where you want your projects to be located. And on this page, I'll just click continue. Select your keyboard layout. Given that I have in the past used Adobe Premiere Pro, so I will select Adobe Premiere Pro layout. But if you use to the DaVinci layout, you can select that. If you use to Final Cut, you can select Final Cut. I'm going to select Adobe Premiere Pro and then I'll click Continue. I am all set and then I can click Start. Once I click Start, now it takes me to DaVinci Resolve Studio 19. I'll use my license key. So this is where I will input the license key that I received from buying the application. If you have a Blackmagic Cloud ID, you can use that to activate DaVinci Resolve Studio. I'm going to use my license key. When you purchase DaVinci Resolve Studio, you have a license key. This is where you're going to use the license key. So I'm going to just click continue. Enter the license key provided with your DaVinci Resolve purchase. So on here now I'm going to input my license key. That is a private key that is to be used only by you and it's private to you. So I'll enter that here. To activate DaVinci Resolve, enter your license key and click activate. Now it is activated. You see a check mark indicating that it has been activated i will just click continue allow davinci resolve to find devices on your local network 
This allows the app to discover, connect to, and collect data from devices on your local network. Uh, you can allow this or you, you can choose not to allow. I will allow now I can turn it off in settings. Just a quick overview of DaVinci Resolve. So here is the venture Resolve. The layout is similar to that of Premiere Pro since I selected that layout. Uh, here you have your various menus that allow you to do different things. This is for your clips. This will be for the cuts that you make. This will be for your edits. Your timeline will be here. Here is Fusion. And then here is for color correction, audio work, and then delivery. All of these uh, is what makes DaVinci Resolve a great tool for use and why I'm choosing it. Let me import a file and then we are going to just quickly take a look and see what it looks like. Go to File, Import media and then you can locate media on your system i'm just going to import this not vpn tutorial that uh, i created the selected clips have a different frame rate to the project so would you like to change i'm just going to click change frame rate so that it will match here is our clip so if you have multiple clips this is where they will live to start your edit come down to edit and then just drag and drop your clip onto the timeline and now this is your timeline we are going to edit this video i'm going to go ahead and edit the video but before doing so i'm going to just save it save project as i'll give it a name so this project will be how to install vpn on mac mini and then i'll click save and that is the title of my project then i'll x out of this minimize this x out of it so that was how to install and set up DaVinci Resolve Studio on Mac Mini or on Mac OS. The process is similar for other operating systems. You just have to choose the operating system of your choice and then go through the process to set it up. I will keep this in my dock so that I will have quick access to it. Uh, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.